So hello, and uh, thank you to be here. Um, I, I will um, improvise a little talk about uh, my work, um, and I will show several uh, things that I do. Um, and, uh, so this, this is a word called Visa 01. It's um, a visa that uh, you probably know I here in the in United States. It's key for people who have uh, extraordinary abilities. And um, so I made a piece uh, um, with, with that. Uh, uh, this is called Certificate of Life. Uh, this is a paper that you can have in the uh, Moroccan Embassy uh, in Paris. Uh, I go there with my uh, identity card and they give me this paper to prove that I am alive and, uh, and I can uh, use it uh, to prove uh, my existence. Uh, this is a sculpture, an installation, uh, a still life uh, called Studio Oriental, uh, Oriental Studio. And uh, it was shown in the um, Center National, of, uh, National Center of Photography in Paris. This is details. Okay. <coughs> this is an installation of envelope uh, that I did in Thailand, in Bangkok, in 2003. Um, I made a little hole with screwdriver. It's a nine, nine millimeter hole in the wall, and all the sand is. Uh, falling down, uh, falling in the envelope. <coughs> um, I made it because at this time it was, um, there is a lot, lot of paranoia against uh, mail with the anthrax things and also in Bangkok there were um, a policy, um, a very uh, violent policy against drugs, and they just shoot the people uh, who are consuming drugs or uh, selling drugs. And when I arrived there for, for the show, they killed uh, 1,500 people uh, since in three weeks. Uh, so I, I decided to make this piece to, to, to talk about uh, this uh, context. Um, this is two pieces, uh, decides to remain seized of the matter, and another piece called frame. I did it in 2003, when uh, there is this big suspense about the Iraq war. Uh, it uh, decides to remain seized. Uh, we can find it in the end of uh, the resolution text of the UN Council. Uh, they ended always, most always like that, and it uh, sounds like a false translation because it means uh, no, nothing really precise, and in French too, it means nothing really precise, and um, and I, I wanted to 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 show that um, this uh, council uh, is not so um, uh, efficient. In a, uh, in a war context or in a very uh, uh, sensitive context. This is a, it's called Snow in Arabia. It's just a piece of black tape on a TV with snow. It's uh, showing like that. It's, a, it's a from the, um, I, I took the iconography from the picture of the Mecca in uh, Arabia Saudite. And uh, normally it's uh, the people who are turning around uh, the cube, the black cube. 
And uh, here there, are, there is just snow who is moving in a lot of uh, sands and with a big disorder. This is a carpet I just cut inside and let only the frame. It's uh, an installation of broken tea glass. This is a, a self-portrait uh, called uh, French Touch, uh, French Touch self-portrait. Uh, normally, um, uh, to, to have a French manicure, you have to put some white um, pencil and some clear uh, varnish, but uh, I have it uh, naturally in my uh, nails, so I found it funny in an integration context in France to, to be like naturally integrate. Uh, this is a little river uh, in, a, in a dead end in Paris. And I put uh, this orange powder uh, called Gaia. It's a synthetic uh, powder and you use it to make uh, the food orange. Uh, it's uh, to give like an oriental touch for your meals. And I put it in the water. And I made several work with this powder. <coughs> This is a square I, I put in a room, carpet everywhere, and I, I install this square with, um, I don't know the word, it's a steel. Uh, you put it in between two rooms to separate, and it's uh, 73 centimeters. So it's a minimal square, but it's not one meter square, but a 73 um, centimeter square. It's my way to, to work with this uh, minimalist um, uh, heritage, <coughs> minimalist history. But I use it, um, uh, I use uh, minimal cultural materials to work with. And normally this, um, this dimension, it's, for, uh, it's using for apartments in very poor area called HLM in France. And it's the f standard format for a door uh, in uh, the poor apartment. It's a call, call boxes with sound. You can find it everywhere like that in Casablanca, Paris, Bruxelles, Berlin. It's uh, the same kind of doors. Uh, a desert, sorry, it's a desert made with um, couscous semoule. So it's, uh, you can walk on it or not, or make the, the around. But it looks like sand if you don't recognize it or if you don't smell the, the, um, the smell. <laughs> this is costume. This is a, the French um, hymn uh, like, uh, called La Marseillaise, but I replay it in a destroyer of document paper. It's like a very, uh, contemporary composition of music. And this, uh, it's cardboard used for barbarian organ. Uh, you know, I don't know if you know, you, you play it with, you make one, and so that. It's a crate with uh, water of, uh, the water of rain inside. It's uh, like a fountain for an outdoors, uh, it's an outdoors uh, piece. It's a block of sugar, of two kilo sugar. Uh, in, uh, in Morocco, we found this kind of sugar. It's a block of two kilo. It looks like a big phallus, and generally it's uh, women, who, women who use uh, to break it, to put in the teapot, and after to, to share tea with all the family. So it's the format of the sugar in Morocco. And um, it's called principle of economy, one. 
it looks like sculpture, but it's, you can really buy it like that. I just open the paper and put it in the, in the floor. And this is called Principle of Economy 2. It's the standard sugar that we can find in France, but it's um, more individual because you can uh, took your coffee or your tea alone, and it's not exactly the case in Morocco. So it was too. And it just uh, flew in the floor. Uh, it's a video, it's a, I film uh, the end of a demonstration in Paris. So you see so the uh, people very far and a lot of uh, trashes in the street. And during 23 minutes, there is truck who are uh, cleaning the street, the boulevard. So it's like a choreography, very complex. They come, they go, come back, make round. And after 23 minutes, you found a very uh, empty boulevard, like if uh, nothing happened. So I, I like to work with my, uh, what we can say, an heritage, uh, cultural heritage. But I used to work with uh, very cliche or very banal uh, materials, like sugar, uh, powder, uh, couscous, carpet, uh, documents, official documents. And here it's a very simple uh, material uh, that, um, because you have five demonstrations per week in Paris, so it's very uh, normal. Uh, but uh, it changed nothing in reality because they are just crossing and after it's like nothing happened. And for me it's like my poor heritage of um, how a poor heritage of uh, the French Revolution or 68. It's a, a sentence uh, engraved in the wall. Uh, I took this sentence from an uh, administrative document in the French uh, prefecture of uh, police. Uh, when you have to apply for new paper, for new resident paper, you have your space to be filled, uh, space to be filled by the stranger, by the foreigner, and no, by the alien, sorry. <laughs> space to be filled by the alien, and in the other side you have space to be filled by the authority. So I just use this sentence and I uh, engrave it in the in a wall, it's uh, very small, and I let it like that. And after the exhibition, generally, it's uh, another alien who just um, uh, fill it with uh, like plaster and uh, to prepare the new exhibition. But uh, the sentence is still in the wall after, even if we don't see it. <clears throat> this is a piece I did in Romania called uh, "Sans Titre, uh, Les Étrangers." Uh, tit uh, sans titre is untitled, but in French it also means that without a uh, social um, posi posture or social position. And um, because when I was in Romania, all the people told me that there is no avant-garde. Uh, and, and one person finally told me after five times that uh, Tristan Zara and Marcel Yanko, the founder of the Dada movement, uh, wasn't, uh, weren't uh, Romanian. And I say, but it's written everywhere that uh, they are Romanian. And they say, no, they are not Romanian, they are Jewish. So I was very shocked about that. Um, um, and I, I start to, when I go back to Paris and work for the exhibition, I start to make some research about the avant-garde uh, in Romania. And I discovered that there was a very strong avant-garde. And a lot of uh, review magazine, uh, uh, and, I, uh, and I read all the original, I find all the archive, archive, and I start to shoot all the drawings, uh, the poem, and everything. And, uh, and when I start to read the biography of all the artists, I discover that, that uh, mainly, like, all the artists from the avant-garde in Romania were Jewish. And that's exactly why they said that there is no avant-garde in Romania, because they are not uh, Romanian, so it's uh, so I come back to the museum there and I ask I tr I work with uh, uh, fifteen students and we engrave it during uh, two weeks, not during ten days, and all the drawings, the poetry, and and I found that a lot of uh, artists are uh, are. Uh, uh, from the avant-garde are uh, Jewish from Romania, like Victor Brauner, Isidore Rizou, 
uh, the lettrist uh, uh, fondator, uh, also a lot of poets, Paul Shellan, Gerasim Luca. I'm sorry for the accent, but, but there is, it was very strong to discover that, that all these really famous and important artists for the history of this century was not considered by their own country as a, as a, as citizen. And I, I chose to, I, I invent, I made no creation for this work. I just uh, engrave it and I reverse it in uh, linoleum because it was a technique used to print in the avant-garde uh, magazine, in the, uh, yes, in the magazine. And, uh, but the only uh, uh, things I uh, decided to create uh, was the translation of, uh, of the name Tristan Zara. Uh, because it wasn't his real name. Tristan means um, Tristan and Isolt, but it also means sad, to be sad. And Zara in Romanian is um, a country. So I translate it as uh, Triste en son pays. Uh, sad is in his own country. And I, I, I'm sure that Zara, it's, it's a name, I'm sure that Zara thought about that when he decided to found her name for his practice. <clears throat> this is a series of drawings using a uh, simple uh, Islamic ornament, but I make it as a freestyle. And um, so you can recognize some classical uh, figure of cross. cross. And uh, uh, this kind of ornament uh, was um, it was because uh, the Islamic uh, uh, decides to to yes, there is uh, you cannot show your uh, people or uh, things like that because uh, it's only God who can create uh, p um, people or images, and uh, they de develop this kind of symmetric uh, ornament. Um, so you have like a figure, and you can put it. Uh, in symmetry, and like that, uh, make an infinite, infinite uh, uh, drawing, and uh, and, and uh, with this um, uh, mechanism, you can uh, touch uh, the question of the absolute and be close from uh, God, and uh, it is the theory of the ornament. So I, uh, and if me, um, yeah, I, I decide to 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 replay it, but as a bad student, and uh, so I, I make only mistakes. And like that, I cannot, um, it can, the question of absolute cannot work with my way to, to draw. I don't know if it's clear, but. So I, I make several like, like that. And, um, So I think it's um, it's finished. <laughs> so I'm sorry because I, I don't feel very uncomfortable to talk about my practice because I work with very uh, several materials and it's also depend of the context and um, and uh, it's hard to to say it in a very short time. And um, I think yeah. so. Thank you. <laughs>